An OmniLight tool. Uh, an OmniLight is a single point light that shines light uniformly in all directions. You can think of it as an incandescent light bulb. We're going to find that. We're going to go up to the command panel. We're going to come over here to our create tab. We're going to go over here to our lights button. We're going to hit the drop down menu and go to standard. Here is our Omni light. We're going to pick on our Omni light and it's going to ask us to select the, and place the light in the scene. I'll just pick here in the front here and bam. It placed the light in there. You can see how the light is shining on the front side of that uh, teapot. You can see where the light is in the other views. So you can see it's down low, down on the on the bottom here. And you can see over in our over here we have it listed as Omni001. I'm able to place another light. So I'm going to place another light over here. And I'll place it there. Bam, you can see now I got the effects of two lights. And I can see both lights in my all my viewports. Now, I'm going to place a light in the back. And to finish, I'm going to right click. Okay. And now I've placed three lights in my scene. And you can see my top view, how they're positioned. Now, typically, I like to have three lights as a general rule in any scene. Typically I like to have a primary light in the front, a secondary light in the front, and what I would call a highlight uh, lighting in the back. So if it was a picture portrait, two would be shining on their face and one would be shining on the hair from the back. Now I can move these if I needed to with my select and move. And so I can just go and pick on this light and I can slide it around and get it into any position that I exactly need. And I'll do the same with this. I'll slide it around and I'll get it pretty much just how I want it. And I'll even do this one here and I'll slide it around and get it into position here. And when I come over into my front view here, you know, I can even pick on these here and say, oh, I want these to go up in the air a little bit all right so and so I can position these lights however I like now the other thing I want you to do is when it comes to name and color I want you to pick on each light and say all right here's my Omni one I want to give this thing a new name. I always give it another name. If it's a living room ceiling light, I'd call it that. Never name them Omni 001002. You're going to have a lot of lights in your scenes and in a standard application. So I might say this is my front, you know, I might call this something, even if it's a simple scene, front primary. Okay. And I hit an enter and I can change the color of these lights if needed. So maybe you might have a cover color scheme. All my ceiling lights are one color, all my wall lights are another color, all my desk lights are four lights are another color, etc. And I could do the same with all the others. I'll come over here and pick this one. I'll say this is front and I'll say oop, front and I'll say secondary. Ah. Front secondary and I'll hit enter. And I'll do the same with the third. I'm going to say back highlight, let's say. And hit enter. I always name them and you can give them a color in a coding system that you like. So once you have your lights in your positions you can see the effects of the lights here in the realistic mode. If you want to run a quick test you can run a quick test of render to see how the lightings work. But positioning of the lights and naming of the lights is your next step after you place them in. You can put as many lights in the scene as you like at one time and then you can actually move them later and name them later. Um, so this is an Omni light and we'll talk about each one of the, the general or each one of the rollouts here next.